Hello, everybody, and happy Thursday. I hope everybody is staying safe. You're probably not going to believe what I'm about to tell you, but we are watching another severe weather outbreak, just like last week's, all right? Last week, we had that massive severe weather outbreak that went through the states of Texas, Mississippi, Louisiana, Alabama, Georgia, and then eventually into the Carolinas as you got into Thursday. And we're going to be watching basically the exact same thing happen right here again. Absolutely incredible, all right? Before I start this video, I want to give a quick shout out to the Hurricane HQ for making me my own logo. It was, I absolutely, uh, you know, love it. You all have seen the Hurricane HQ a few times in my videos. We did that live stream on that uh, Sea Weather Outbreak last week, and he was the one that helped me with that. Um, so he's, he has become a valuable essay in my weather uh, broadcasting system. So the Hurricane HQ, big shout out to you. And thank you for my graphic. All right, so now let's move on to our severe part. Okay, this is we're gonna be. I'm gonna be giving you every single bit of detail that I have on this massive severe weather outbreak. All right, so here's the setup going into all this week. I know I showed this video on my last video. I mean, I know I showed this graphic in my last video, but it, I mean the exact same thing. It's still happening, all right? So two systems formed by two areas of low pressure bringing a very soggy um, end to the week for places in the Dixie Valley area. And once again, another severe threat, all right? So here is the local forecast. I mean, here's the local radar. As of 10.05 a.m. Central Time, we've had a few tornado warnings spin up here, basically right here along the border of Mississippi and Alabama. Thankfully, they have all expired. But we do have um, some, some severe thunderstorm warnings that have been issued basically because of this line of storms that is working, your, working its way throughout northeastern Alabama and extreme um, northwestern Georgia, all right? And we already do have flash flood warnings and flash flood warnings, flash flood watches issued for places like northern um, Alabama and northern Georgia and also getting into the southern parts of Tennessee, all right? So now let's talk about, um, you know, how to understand the severe thunderstorm risk categories a little bit better, all right? So I'm going to skip this first one because that really doesn't mean anything, all right? As we go to number one, this is marginal, okay? You have a slight chance of seeing some isolated thunderstorms and if they if they are well if they're alive or anything they will not be on the ground or you know affecting you for very very long okay as you get into the slight category that means you have a that you have a, a little bit better of a chance of seeing some more strong scattered thunderstorms they will probably be short-lived and they will be not really that intense all right as you get into number three now we're getting a little bit higher on the scale this is your enhanced risk and we it is possible that we can see numerous thunderstorms that will be more persistent and, and uh, even more widespread, all right? As you get into number four, this is your moderate category. This is the fourth out of fifth highest category, all right? It is definitely likely that you can see widespread thunderstorms that will be long-lived and definitely widespread. And then as you get into the last category, number five, it is definitely possible you can see very long lives widespread thunderstorms that will be very, very bad. And th and usually with this category, those are the, uh, the category that usually the tornado outbreaks are associated with, all right? So here is your uh, here is your forecast, or here is your chance of seeing severe thunderstorms throughout the rest of today, and then going into tonight. There's our greatest area of risk right here, across um, eastern Texas, and then getting in back into the Gulf Coast states. And then look at this tonight. This is your chance of seeing severe thunderstorms tomorrow and tomorrow night, right? An extreme chance, once again, just like last night, in so many areas that were in that severe risk, all right? Absolutely incredible, all right? And, and it's not it's not just the extreme area that we're watching. We're watching for likely, very likely, and then once again extreme, all right? So Memphis, Tennessee, um, Jackson, Mississippi, Nashville, Tennessee, Huntsville, Alabama, Birmingham, Alabama, and then possibly even getting into Montgomery, all right? A huge area of a very good chance of seeing Really strong thunderstorms throughout tonight, all right? So let's jump into tomorrow at 2 p.m. Here's your forecast. Now, what I want you all to really focus on is these little spin-ups that are right in this area. Those are going to be the systems that we're going to be watching for the most heaviest rain and the strongest severe thunderstorms, all right? So working your way into Memphis, Tennessee, Nashville, Tennessee, just to the north of Huntsville, Alabama, very strong storms. And then as you fast forward a little bit more into the afternoon at 4 p.m., there's an area of low pressure, a big cold front associated with it with the dry line and a squall line, you know, forming all these major little thunderstorms. I mean, these thunderstorms do not look, look like much, but I'm telling you, these little thunderstorms are going to be what we're going to be watching extremely, very closely for our severe thunderstorm warnings, our tornado warnings, our flash flood warnings, and any severe alerts, and possibly the most damage that we will see out of any spin-ups, all right? Absolutely incredible. All right, all right, look at this. That is a Torcon of 9, a 90% chance of seeing a tornado within a 50-mile radius, all right? The exact same thing that happened last week, all right? These systems are basically, you know, brother and sister, okay? Because, I mean, they are so identical. Same impacts, you know, same alerts, and same forecasts, all right? And I've never seen this in my four to five years 
and study meteorology, all right? Absolutely incredible, all right? And it's not just, once again, this area that we're watching. We're watching all of this area, all right? Even if you have a tour kind of three, five, seven, one, you still have a chance of seeing a tornado, all right? So whether you're in that nine category or in that three category, you need to be prepared no matter what, all right? It's very, very dangerous. Not anything anybody would ever want to see, all right? And before I end this video, please be sure that you're visiting my website and also the Hurricane HQ's website. My website is www.liamsweather.org. No capitals, no spaces, no apostrophe. And his is basically the exact same thing, www.thehurricanehq.org. And we post daily announcements on there telling you what's going to be happening today. And also, be sure to check our severe pages because we post daily announcements or basically hourly announcements telling you what the latest advisory is for every single system, all right? And we post a lot of stuff on there. All our videos are on there, so definitely be sure to visit both our websites. Once again, my website is www.leamsweather.org, and the Hurricane HQ's website is www.thehurricanehq.org, all right? So a very dangerous situation that we are currently witnessing another system basically brother and sister once again we are currently watching very very dangerous all right so that is um that is my first video today i will be doing another video today and that will be featuring our local areas forecast and that will be probably up uploaded sometime between the hours and 5 or 6 p.m. this afternoon. And when that video is uploaded, it will be uploaded to my Facebook page, my Twitter page, and then also my mom's Twitter page, um, excuse me, my mom's Facebook page. So be sure that you're following me on all social media applications. I posted all those on my website on the home page at the very, very bottom, so that way you, uh, so that way it's very easy for you to access, all right? So again, that is all I have for you all today. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you all later.